Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. But before we get started, I want to talk about today's sponsor, DistroKid. And I got a really good question in the Discord asking, why release on a label if you can release independently? And yeah, getting released on a label is great, but labels like to see that you can drum up a bit of a pizzazz before they sign you. So being able to release independently is a great way to do that and make some a little extra cash as well. Or you can even even opt to just say screw labels and release fully independently to have full control over everything from your release date to your masters and you'll continuously own it and uh, DistroKid makes this super easy. DistroKid lets you upload your music to online stores and streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal. On top of that, DistroKid never takes a cut of your earnings and they even have marketing tools that are included with the subscription price and this is all for a yearly subscription, $19 99. But since you're watching this right now, my viewers get 7% off your first year. Just use the VIP link below and you'll be all set. As always, DistroKid, thank you for sponsoring this video. Go click that uh, DistroKid upload button, sign up, it helps support the channel. And uh, on to the video. A lot of you give me suggestions on what artists to make videos of. And for the last like half year, you might have noticed I'm not uploading as much. Is it because I'm lazy? Am I getting burnt? out? Heck no. It's because I'm always making songs and trying to make it in a certain artist style, but a lot of the time I can never get it close enough to their sounds. So I end up scrapping a lot and just not using them. And since last week's video did kind of poop, this is my attempt to use those scrap songs to still get you content with hopefully helpful production tips. So less of how to, more of attempting to, and today we're attempting Kaiwachi. My Giga Chad with a soft boy interior, aka the type of beat you make when you just got out of a terrible relationship. Let's start with the drop. First, set the BPM to 150. Hold it! 140, cause dubstep. And I mean a real dubstep. <laughs> Am I right? Eh. Is Kaiwachi even considered dubstep or trap or tear out? Either way, we need a big, solid, thick sub. A Giga sub, if you will. You make that in serum. It's simply, not me saying simply like I didn't take two hours to figure this out because I'm ass at sound design. It's simply that second sine wave comboed with a noise oscillator. So turn that on, turn that on. And the important thing is to turn on LFO1. I made it this kind of a falling shape. These are the time settings, set it to envelope and uh, have it so that it is falling down ever so slightly like my feelings. Guys, stop me if this is being too cringe. Next, I do LFO2, give it this shape, the old slopey slope, and uh, we're going to not map that to anything by dragging, no siree. We're gonna go into the old matrix here and uh, set the target to master tuning. We can find that here, and this is the fastest way to get that attack sound. Just adjust it. So you get the attack that you want. 34 is good for me. Now to get it sounding fat, you just add a little bit of fat rack on there. As long as it sounds super fat and distorted, that's what you want with it. Speaking of falling, I have the pitch bend going down and I only set it to one semitone and I write the sub note on the semitone above the actual target note. So if I wanted to go F, I actually write in an F sharp so that when I when I pitch it down, it, it stays in tune and it gives that feeling of falling. That's the first layer. Next layer you want to do is uh, any kind of bass shot. Uh, I just do bass one shot. That's a good one. Something with a lot of a uh, But when you layer it with the sub, pretty nice. That's a, that's a somatics one too. The, the usual one I use is this uh, amplifier. Not bad. I usually cut out all the lows as well throw on some disperser this one's also free you can get it from discord you can also get a ton of variation just by messing with warp like go into texture or tones and granulate and then the last layer you need is a transient something punchy and you could do a bunch of sound design for that or you can be lazy like me and just get something from valorant final step is you want to wrap it all up in a group open up the io make a new audio track and resample it. Now that's a giga sub. 
Let's add that to some drums. You gotta have that stomp. And then you also do the, the snare, but it's gotta be annoying snare, like how your ex was, and that's why you broke up in the first place. This is the type of music to make you hit the gym because we're focusing on ourselves. Self-improvement, baby. You know, as long as the drums are stompy, you know, so when you play it at a party, you can be the dude standing in the corner who's like, they don't know I can deadlift 600. Then just take a giga sub. Chop it up over the drums with that rhythm. The one that sounds all like, bop, 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 bop. And a few more sounds to layer it out. That's right, even more layers. Just like there's layers to you. To fill out the high end a bit, try and find something whooshy. Is that the word? And I made another sound using the same technique earlier, but for tone, I guess. But wait, is this not melodic enough for you? You wanna truly express sadness and to achieve ultra melodic vibes. Let's rewind back to the intro, you know, get some piano. Put your feelings out there. Just make sure that progression goes down. Uh, there's this ambience too. Sounds really good in the background. And they go so nicely together, like, come on. Now, of course, this is not just sad piano EDM. No, sir. I'm gonna take that progression, simplify it a bit, and move it onto a flute sound. And on a bass, of course. Can't do it without the emo trap drums. And put that all together and we got a moody little thing that's kind of kaiwachi, kind of not, but definitely more ash. And if that still isn't melodic bass enough for you, remember Giga Sub? Yeah, we can absolutely turn that into color bass. Just use the chords from the intro and vocode them to the bass sound. Isn't that fun how that works? If you want to know how to make that, I got tons of videos on it. Oh, and most importantly, go into the Ableton search and search for telephone vocal. Put that bad boy on for the ultimate fake out. And if you don't have telephone vocal in your DAW, just make your EQ look like this. Speaking of vocal, I need a vocal. And I'm obsessed with Dane. So this is now a Dane remix. I traced your sin. You're just an evil incarnate. Not exact, that's why I call this an attempt. 
I don't think Kaiwachi actually does color base, but I bet eventually one day he will. I'm calling it now. Shout out to all the VIPs on Patreon. You pay me to keep making videos like this. Also, let me know if you like this format. And just like you, I'm trying to find my own sound. And this way just lets me make what I want to make without the pressure of getting it right exactly the entire time. I'm just here to do my best to show you some cool production techniques that you could use in your music. After all, I'm just one dude. I cannot possibly emulate the sound of what other artists spend their entire careers crafting. But most importantly, thank you for watching. Keep sending me artists you want me to try, like and subscribe. That's gonna be all for me today. Now go make some bangers.